Well, hello there. Welcome back to Video Gamers Oasis Play Theater. I'm your host, the Meat Geek, Jeremy. And here is another uh, miniature series that I've started not too long ago. Uh, Geek and Gamer Movie Reviews, where mostly me, but sometimes my friends, we get together and we uh, review uh, movies that appeal to the gamer and geek crowd. That includes... Uh, Movies based on video games as well as sci-fi, fantasy, comic book movies, horror, thriller, uh, adventures that cut that challenge the imagination. And recently, me and my friend Joel went to see Avengers Endgame 2019. Uh, International Movie Database describes Endgame as after the devastating events of uh, events of Avengers: Infinity War 2018. The universe is in ruins. With the help of rem remaining allies, the Avengers assemble once more in order to undo Thanos' actions and restore order to the universe. And this is, of course, a, uh, this was uh, a sequel to the movie that I saw last year, and I really loved the Infinity War. Uh, Avengers: Infinity War was an amazing movie. Just to let you, just to recap, uh, with Thanos, probably one of the greatest. Uh, Marvel, Disney, uh, super villains I've ever encountered in the in the big on the big screen, and had one of the most uh, gutsy and ballsy, if I may add, uh, Marvel Disney comic book uh, movie endings I've ever seen. Uh, all those uh, spoiler alert for the last one. All those heroes dying was truly a shocking, bold move, and I just remembered. Last year, when I saw uh, Infinity War and Spider-Man go, uh, goes uh, knows he's about to, to to dissolve, and he says to uh, Tony Stark, "You know, I don't feel too good, Mr. Stark," and it's dissolved. And I remember seeing a seeing, hearing and seeing a, mo a mom and her two daughters. They were starting; to, the daughters were crying because Spider-Man was dying. Man, that was an intense uh, moment, and I really, really appreciated how uh, this this recent movie had um, taken so so many risks. Uh, too often we have superhero movies where the good guys always win and the bad guys are defeated, goes to jail or is destroyed by the bad, by the good guy, and it just was so refreshing to see. Uh, <coughs> All the good guys lose, and the bad guy become victorious. It was refreshing, and it was a de definitely a ballsy move. So, <clears throat> me and my friend Joel went to see the sequel to that. This is after uh, Thanos had has uh, won the war and dissolved fifty percent of all uh, life in the universe. This is what happens, basically. So, um, I will. Do, uh, we're going to recap a review that me and my friend Joel did, and uh, we don't. We, we only mention the spoilers at the very end of the review, so we will. I will. You know, uh, there'll be a little indicator on the video when the when the spoilers are announced. So here, without further ado, me and my friend Joel, we would say to see this movie, Avengers: Endgame, on Sunday, the twenty seventh of April. So Joel, what did you think of the, the Avengers Endgame? Um, I Final liked it. Um, I continuation. I really wish yeah. I saw the other Avenger, like the part one of yeah. the movie, to just to refresh my memory. Of all the characters that were kind of from the beginning. And also Brie Larson's character. I didn't see that movie. Yeah, Brie Larson, of course, starred in a. It was actually a prequel called Captain Captain Marvel, Marvel right. and it was it was a backtracking of of uh, of uh, Nick Nick Fury uh, and being introduced to uh, Brie Larson. But she's a, she plays a pretty important role in the, in the story, saving the uh, characters in the beginning. Did you uh, were you were you satisfied the, with the way, way things worked out? Um, any generally, any counts, I, I critics, guess I would say I would or? say I am. Um, I'm not a huge comic book or graphic book person. Graphic novel. Yeah. But uh, mm. 
superhero fan. No, like I. But as a sci-fi story. Yeah, I, I mean, as a story. Josh Brolin and... makes a really great villain. Oh yeah. Uh, Thanos. There was good acting. Yeah. I would say that sometimes the story, just because of its nature, was kind of a jumble. But, you know, listen, it was a good time. I would probably give it a three and a half or four yeah. star rating. Yeah. Um, loads of special effects, of course. Sometimes that... It's like the Star Wars of our day, in a sense. Um, yeah, it was extremely uh, popular today. It was probably one of those popular movies uh, this evening. How do you like how they ended, uh, I guess, Iron Man and, and Captain America are sort of like two peas in a pod. They, uh, spoiler alert, they kind of have an ending. Dead end here. Joel, you sure you're supposed to go down here? I think it's a dead end. Yeah, maybe about face. Destruction. So, it's quick, yeah. kind of, I, you like the concept of time travel? The, the uh, characters going going through that yeah. uh, quantum gate. Uh, I don't know if you've seen uh, Ant Man, but that quantum gate First was. One I did. Yeah, the second one they they have a quantum gate. They actually uh, uh, utilize that device to go into like the quantum field where they can actually travel through time. Um, in Ant Man Two. But uh, the concept of going back in time to retrieve all those stones, what, what, what's your what's your feelings on on the concept of time travel? Do you think it's possible? Well, um, I couldn't tell you. I know uh, I thought that they said that mm. with transporters similar to similar to Star Trek, that yeah. uh, uh, high tech. Um, a high-tech uh, labor laboratory in Australia was able to move a particle of matter with a few millimeters by by the, uh, some sort of a transporter device. A signature. Like I think they used some kind of signature. They actually signature particle without the particle itself. That I could be mistaken, but uh, I really don't know yeah. because I've heard that through the grapevine, and I never was able to trace the source, and I didn't really have any interest in it. Yeah, but anyways, uh, other than that, it was a pretty good uh, sci-fi romp. Kind of, kind of uh, nice. How I, I really liked how all the uh, heroes got together. They all showed up for the final scene and the confrontation with Thanos and his army. It was a big. That was one, a big crowd one stopper. Thing, crowd one thing, cheer. Um, what I was gonna say yeah. is, I was there was one near the end of the movie where Thanos is about to be defeated. Yeah. Um, all the female heroes yeah. came close to. Basically, they ganged up. All females, no male. Yeah, I noticed that. I noticed that. And they that. were going after Thanos. Yeah, we're, I, we're, I gonna, going to, we're on top of things. We're in charge of things. Lisa. Well, I was going to face yeah. palm and eye roll that. And, yeah. And, uh, not that I, I have a problem with strong females, but my question is in this age of supposed gender equality, why yeah. are we so immature? Yeah. And it's, and, and are, are women really that insecure to do that? Well, I, it just like like be part of the team, men with women working side by side, right? Well, the thing is, like you look at strong female characters, um, for example, um, in the Aliens franchise with Sigourney with, Weaver. With uh, Sigourney Weaver, she's one of the best sci-fi heroes and, of all time. Uh, Carrie Ann Moss yeah. and Matrix. Yeah, she Trinity. worked along with the guys. Now she why, was part of the team. That's right. She was never a, a rogue. And here's the deal. Yeah. Here's the deal. I have nothing against even a, a female role. Like, to, take a look once again. What, like we said, Sigourney Weaver. She ended up being the main guy. Was a girl. Yeah. I yeah. have no problem with that. But, but she what, was. Yeah, she was. Over. But, but what I'm saying yeah. is, it's a mistaken sense of, of gender equality by trying to get rid of the males. Now, mind you, they're pushed to defeat Thanos. All these females ended up failing, and in yeah. the end. Spoiler alert! Right, right, right. Um, Iron Man, Iron Man. ends up defeating he, Thanos. He takes the stones. Spoiler alert! 
from Thanos. Okay, so, all right, now, I'm, I don't want, you know, what, okay, now what if one of the women did what he did? Would I have a problem with that? And the answer is no, I wouldn't. I wouldn't but it's just, it's not. If it, they had the suit of armor. But anyway. Yeah. I'm glad that they didn't have one yeah. gender over the other. That, that's very it was good that they It was good that they didn't end up like, I, 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 I noticed that myself. Uh, I think the, 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 the Valkyrie hero, heroine, um, She's played by she plays the uh, actress who um, in uh, Creed two Creed one's uh, wife, great actress, name escapes me. Uh, we had Brie Larson of course. We had the uh, Black Panthers, uh, Chief of the Bodyguard from the Black Panther movie. All great actresses. Um, well, yeah, when I saw that, I, I found it a little bit awkward, like a little bit heavy-handed, like they're trying too hard to appeal to strong women. I just felt. Just make the women, the, the heroic women, part of the team, and work together. And well, okay, but, now, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Like yeah. I said, those three. Okay, now, like you know, um, yeah. Ellen Ripley of the, the Alien yeah. series, right? Trinity of the Matrix series, Princess Leia of the Star Wars. Of course, they're all, all strong, strong women. women. Yeah. And then you also have, um, let's see. I was thinking about oh Sally Field years ago. She was. Um, God, what was the name of that? Where she was uh, a leader of a union and like a oh, textile yes, mill. Oh, yes, I understand that that textile mill, and she 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 was like uh, leading a union against a, a tyrannical boss. I remember seeing that movie. In the southern but, United States, I think. Yeah. Somewhere. But anyway. Um, other than that, other than that, the movie was uh, pretty solid. It was nice how how Captain America finally. Uh, returns to meet the love of his life, goes back in time, and grows old. Yeah. That was pretty. Uh, I mean, he died happy. He, di he died with a smile on his face because he, yeah. he finally got to meet his you know, the love of his life, which was really good. So I, I would definitely recommend this movie. I, I from now on I'm doing uh, instead of actual ratings, I do a recommend or don't recommend. It, it's a lot simpler for me. Um, you could, you're, I'm would, okay with you doing a rating, but uh, oh yeah, like I, you know yeah. what, I would recommend this movie, but what I would suggest yeah. you do, yeah, is refresh your memory and look at part one. Absolutely, because that was the problem I had. I kind of lost track. It's been like what a year, year yeah. and a half. Because they're all they're all connected. All those movies Absolutely are connected. They are. Uh, Thanos and his armies are all uh, still a major threat in all the, the movies. And uh, his armies of, of, of these uh, cosmic worms, uh, these the centipede, the flying worms, and these spaceships, and these mon monstrosities, these mutants army, they're all th throughout each movie, they're the threats still real. So it's important, you know, to, uh, before you see this final movie, uh, refresh your memory for the original uh, Avengers movie. So this is, uh, this is Jeremy and Joel. Thanks, Joel, for watching, for, uh, watching with me and we had a good time um this i uh, will uh, definitely uh check out some uh some other cool sci-fi and geeky movies in the future see what, what the new star wars coming out um uh, maybe we'll check out that out with uh, the final uh the final of the series with ray and kylo i would appreciate if you would like this video Add it to your favorites, leave comments below, share with your friends on Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, not Google+, because Google+, Plus is no longer existent, but all those social media websites you use names in the daily basis. Subscribe to my gaming channel, Video Gamers Always in Play Theater, and don't forget to ring that notification bell. Um, check out the progress of my website, VideoGamersLazer.com, uh, something for everybody there, but it's still under development, and uh, Facebook, Twitter, links below. And you can also help uh, support my YouTube channel by downloading the Brave browser and watching uh, this YouTube uh, series of videos on the Brave browser. Um, it helps me out too when you every time you download a Brave browser from my link there, you help me out by with digital currency. So download the Brave browser. What are you waiting for? All my gaming videos on the Brave browser. It's easy to support Video Gamers Voices Play Theater. Just go to https colon forward slash forward slash brave dot com forward slash vid zero one zero or click the link below.